Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time we had finally brought the elevator back online, only to run into another obstacle and get spit out on the hydroponics deck. The elevator shaft is blocked and we need to find a way to remove the blockage so we can get to deck 4. Let's pick it up there. I'll go left first. Security station requires a hack skill of one. Okay. Shotgun hybrid. I think it's a pipe hybrid behind him. Two shotgun hybrids. Naturally. I can manage to only pull one of them. I think that'll end much better for me. First things I've noticed is that I have to re-equip my weapon every time I quick load. Your song is Gladly. Bottle of liquor and the usual broken shotgun. Six anti-personnel shotgun shells, five nanites. And the usual broken shotgun. Right here at the main elevator, let's just drop all the junk. And let's keep on going. Got a couple of little offices here. First desk has nothing. Second desk has nothing. Okay, stop where you are. There's a vial of an experimental material called Toxin A. It was developed by the Psy staff to reduce the growth of the aliens. But I can't find any data on how you should use it. Damn it. Okay, we'll have to listen to that email again after we... Kill her. Alright. Oh, I just got ten cyber modules. Well, that's cool. Alright, let's listen to the email again, hopefully without interruption this time. Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding researching Toxin A. Okay, stop where you are. There's a vial of an experimental material called Toxin A. It was developed by the Psy staff to reduce the growth of the aliens, but I can't find any data on how you should use it. Okay, the vials of Toxin A need to be placed directly into the environmental regulators. There should be four on this deck. If you can get a vial into each of the regulators, you should be able to significantly impact the growth of those despicable creatures. That should remove the biomatter from the elevator shaft. Alright, that third email was Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding using the vial. So... Find and research Toxin A. Place Toxin A in all four environmental regulators. So here's an unresearched object. We'll go ahead and suspend research on this needle for now. I need two antimony and a vanadium in order to research this, so let's check MedSci first because I've got enough modules to get my last research upgrade. Two antimony, but no vanadium. If I go to deck one, there is vanadium, and uh, I should have checked to see if there was antimony there too. There is. 
anyways. Alright, well... I'm gonna go to Medsai first. Well, the very first thing I'm gonna do is check this little room. Got one desk here with a box of six rifled slugs and an audio log. Miller, June 30th, 2114. Regarding Wondrous Toy. I'm changing. My head is full of wonderful ideas and experiments. They have so many miracles to share, so much knowledge to give. They told me how to make this implant. They said it would make a better me of me. I wish I had more time so I could give it to them. Alright, well before I do anything else... I'm gonna leave that extra rifled slug here and roll down to deck two. I'm gonna go to the upgrade units way back here in cryo recovery. And I'm gonna get research four. And I never need to use the tech station again. Tech and weapons are now useless to me. It's all about stats and psi. As far as stats go, I'm happy with my agility, my cyber affinity, and my strength. I want one more point into endurance, and I want psi all the way to six eventually. So 26, 26, and 53. So when I have 26 modules, I guess I can choose whether to raise endurance or sigh. That's up next. In the meantime, let's head to the chemical storeroom. Let's grab an antimony. There's one right there. Let's see how the research is going. Alright, I already need vanadium. Which means it's time to head to deck one. So, let's do that. There's our awesome collection of stuff. I'm glad the coolant tubes are clear of radiation now. Minimap is incredibly helpful navigating around in here. All right, vanadium, where are you? There it is. This experimental toxin could yield information on human analyte interfacing. Need another antimony. There should be one in here. Chemicals needed to research two antimony and vanadium. Alright, well, that should be everything. Let's just wait until it gets researched. Research complete. Alright. Summary, placing this toxin in an environmental regulator will reduce local analid growth. Analysis, this is an experimental toxin, highly virulent, developed specifically to break down and dissolve analid tissue. The canister is highly pressurized as the liquid toxin would evaporate quickly under ordinary conditions. Recommendation, for maximum coverage, this toxin should be introduced into air recirculators immediately after being opened. And here we... Got the same little needle. We need sodium to research it, which is fine. Let's get out of here and head back to deck three.
Later, bros. I do not want that broken shotgun. Back to hydroponics. Oh, there's an audio log over here I almost missed. Miller, June 27th, 2114. Regarding our work here. Nick, I know you won't get this until after we return, but I've had to express how incredible I feel. we finally done it, made contact, and Muldoon and I have been selected to be involved in the initial work. Anatoly's one condition is that I tell no one aboard the ship. The creatures are remarkable. They're so helpless, I feel somehow compelled to protect them. It's a miraculous discovery. Let's head to the right for now. Got a camera and a turret over there. We need to be careful of. Let's get the camera first. I should be able to hop out there and... Oh, there are two turrets. Well, I won't be able to trusty wrench both of them. Oh, we'll have to cryo one down. find that sweet spot where I can shoot it without being shot. I'll be in business. Shotgun hybrid has terrible timing. Anyway. Let's rock a Psy Hypo and keep working the turret, although I can go ahead and unload his shotgun. Too far. I thought so. I knew it'd be hard to get back to that perfect shot I had lined up. Thanks, Hybrid. All right. Now I should be able to wrench down the other one. If I'm quick. Well, maybe not. Who knows. Life grows within the womb of the souls. Alright, we've got eggs in there, too. That complicates things. Shouldn't be that bad. Come on. Come on, come on. I don't know why I'm trying to hop through the window, but I'm pretty sure I can just run through here. Life grows within the womb of these walls. Life that has never seen the surface of the earth. One cryoblast to finish it off. I need to nail that grub though. Very good. Damn it. Yet 
another shotgun hybrid with his rifled slugs and his broken shotgun. Now that all that's handled, that's, I like to keep my inventory space as open as I can. Let's drop the junk at the elevator. Let's search this room. We've got 12 anti-personnel bullets, six standard bullets, six armor-piercing bullets, security station, obviously can't hack it, a pistol in excellent condition, with full 12 standard bullets in it, corpse has nothing, on the desk we have a pack of cigarettes, the desk itself is empty, over here we have a mug and an audio log, Karenchkin, June 18th, 2114, regarding miracles. There. The young ones are all aboard. Captain Diego and I have sealed off deck three. He and I are now of one mind. Our bodies are changing too. Sometimes it hurts terribly. And sometimes it is marvelous. Something wonderful is happening to me. All right. We also have three magazines. I think some of them are new. Let me see. This holographic glossy magazine appeals principally to a rich youth market. The long-running feature stories detail the romances and adventures of several highly photogenic celebrities. This fat, glossy magazine is principally advertisements for expensive leathers, both clothing and accoutrements. A feature article talks about the experimental Ganymede New Cal Farms. And that we have seen. There's a potted plant, a bag of chips, another empty desk, empty crate, a suit of light combat armor, which I actually can't fit right now. Let's go do another purge. Excellent. Here we have a tech upgrade station and a psi upgrade station. We have a recharger and we have an OS upgrade unit. For my second upgrade, I'm gonna take Pharmo Friendly, which gives me an extra 20% benefit from all hypos. That's pretty awesome. Basically means I've got more ammo for all my psi powers. I guess before I move on, I'll just dump the suit of armor, too. Then I can keep on going. Let's head in here now. Let's search that egg. There's nothing in it, but we can destroy it. In the corner of this room, there's another medical kit. Now here... We have an unresearched object. I knew I heard something. Come here, you. I had to suspend my research on this needle. A long tube with interior cilia. This is the di this is the entire digestive tract of the grub. Chemicals needed to research. Uh, C, F, and G, A. I'm not quite sure what those are. All right, I need gallium. Do we have that at MedSci? Yes. All right. I guess I'll take a quick run back to deck two. And I'm gonna kill a midwife first. It's highly advisable to rush them. 
because their ranged attack is pretty deadly and very difficult to dodge. But their melee attack, you can avoid pretty easily. Oh, to the chemical storeroom. Let's find some gallium. Let's use it. I also need CF. Californium, and there's some in here. Good. Chemical needed. Chemical needed. Californium. Perfect. Research complete. I'll resume research on this needle, but... Grub organ. Summary. While you have learned the vulnerabilities of this creature, they're so easily killed it hardly matters. Like all annelids, they are somewhat resistant to energy weapons. Annelid eggs often contain useful organs if you search them before they are destroyed. Analysis. Genetically female, the annelid grub is the most basic annelid form. The creature is principally nervous system and muscular. The highly advanced, for a worm, nervous system appears to be tied into a rudimentary psionic sense organ. While worm-like in appearance, the grub has no actual digestive tract, but is furnished with energy reserves at birth. When these are depleted, the creature shuts down into a dormant state, possibly until a further psionic trigger acts on it. The eggs that these emerge from often contain organs that might be extracted for useful purposes unless the egg was destroyed in combat. Analysis. The grubs are fairly fragile, but can be somewhat dangerous if they close before you see them. In large numbers, they may prove a more significant threat. Fair enough. Alright. We can drop the grub pod organ here with all the other junk. And once more, back to deck three. Check out the other two eggs. That one's got nothing in it. Just hatched a grub, no problem. There's a grub pod organ. There's another pile of worms. Let's check this one out. Again, nothing inside it. Let's see what it hatches. Just a grub. Down it goes, and we got the grub pod organ. All right, let's search both destroyed turrets. There's nothing. I would like to drop the two grub pod organs out here. And keep my swift boost charged. All right. Start searching these little offices. Nothing in the multi-picture. We've got a game cartridge, Swine Hunter, and another game pig. Oh, and on the ground, a version one research software, which we already had. All right, let's check out Swine Hunter. I have three lives. My score is increasing as I destroy swine. Okay. That's not that awesome. But we have it. The harmony is disturbed. We got some serious respawn going on out here. Hey, I one shot at a pipe hybrid. That's awesome. Shut 
shotgun uh, guy is gonna be harder to deal uh, with. Uh, kill me. But not that much harder. Alright. Same old, same old. Back to work. Okay, I already searched that room. Biological survey. That door doesn't open. Let's check out this room. There's a second. I'm already carrying one. There's a surgical unit activation key in here. The desk has an audio log. Delacroix, July 9th, 2114. Let's check it out. Regarding killing the worms. It's becoming clear that the worms are some kind of communal entity. Well, I'm not sure whether airborne toxin A will directly kill any ambulatory specimens. It should impact their communal mass and remove the residue I've observed growing on the walls and the lift shaft. But perhaps there is a more potent formula to be synthesized. That corpse has nothing. That corpse has a med hypo and 19 nanites. This desk has three cyber modules. Awesome. Up to seven. All right, well, got a busted replicator here. So busted we can't even, couldn't even repair it if we had the skill. Here's an audio log, Delacroix, July 10th, 2114, regarding a ray of hope. Killing the children won't be easy, but I think I'm actually onto something. The biochemistry of these worms, which I call the anolids, treats inverted proteins as toxins. With the help of the replicator in the biological survey lab, I've managed to isolate some inverted proteins in a number of vials. However, the mix with the base compound is still off, so I need to do some more research. Once I do that, and mix the toxin into the four environmental regulators, well, things can only get better. Alright. None of the doors open. I guess we'll just have to break into this room. It's the old-fashioned way of doing things. The desk has a second vial of toxin A. Here's a small beaker. Here we have a lab assistant implant, which we'll want to hang on to. In fact, let's query both of those because we haven't seen them yet. Small beaker. While most DNA infusion clipping is done via protein databases, this beaker is still an effective way to test new compounds of both carbon and non-carbon based compounds. The shielded beaker is an excellent method of storing small quantities of hazardous materials for transport and or storage. And... The lab assistant trademark implant increases research skill by one, burning up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. The lab assistant is one of the least popular implants that Krygon Manufactory sells, but a core market of graduate students keeps the line afloat. And inside the desk is a third vial of Toxin A. That's awesome. I want to look at the map right quick. Administrative offices, security, biological survey. Okay. Is there something else I needed to do? Yes, I remember. So, we still don't have any guns that this is true for, but these piles of worms, you can use a beaker on them. And I have four worm clusters. They're a type of ammunition for some weapons we haven't found yet. Part of the harmony. They recycle very well. <laughs> because it's a very powerful ammo type. So, of course, like everything that recycles at all, we're going to hang on to it.
All right. She has another one of those needles. Still needs sodium. Sector D. Access needed. I need hydroponics D access. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Here we've got a mug and a bag of chips and a down ramp. Box of six rifled slugs. This is Xerxes. Why do you let the Metal Mother guide your actions? Why do you not join the glory of the mass? Pipe Hybrid's got nothing. There's a bottle of very strong vodka on the floor. And hidden in this bench, but just barely accessible if we angle ourselves right as a 18 nanites. This corpse has 10 nanites, and here's an audio log. Delacroix, July 3rd, 2114, regarding making a change. I've received an e-message from Anatoly. He's not well. The corporate protocols specify I can remove the senior executive officer if he's found unfit for duty. But what about his ally, Captain Diego? He's got 120 goons on the Rickenbacker to back him up. I wonder if that fragmentary AI you discovered on Tau 75 is connected to this. All right, we got two crates here. Nothing and nothing. Here's a replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. Of course, I can't hack it. It sells a bottle of vodka for 16, a med hypo for 60, rifled slugs for 160, version 1 repairing software for 70. There's an antitoxin hypo. And another audio log. Karenchkin, July 5th, 2114, regarding a new purpose. You can't understand my joy, Marie, and I won't try to make you. I feel like a new man. I have a purpose. More important than a mission. Even more important than Trioptimum. I will protect them. No matter what. I will protect them. Alright, let's head up here. Here's the resurrection unit for this section. Let's see what's through this door. A crate. I hear a midwife. Let's deal with the camera. There's a can of soda on the desk. In the desk. An audio log, Miller, June 19th, 2114, regarding the children. The specimens are dying, and we're powerless to help. They're highly toxic. Muldoon wouldn't leave them, and now he's dead. But this morning I had a revelation. I started work specifications for a radical series of cybernetic enhancements. If successful, I could make a body practically indestructible. Yet the mind would remain human, nurturing. There's not a lot of time. This desk has nothing. Over here we've got a potted plant and a mug. The corpse has version 1 repairing software. And right here by the pillar, we've got three more cyber modules, which brings my total up to ten. Let's head down here. The midwife is easy to hear. It's kind of hard to bum rush. There we got her. And she's got nothing. You see plenty of eggs in here. There's a toxic egg. Those are the ones we really have to be careful of. Alright. We avoided being poisoned. Of course, 
the egg's got nothing in it. So let's check this one. Nothing. That's a grub egg. Fine by me. Grub pod organ, also fine by me. That crate's empty. The smaller crate is empty. Here's another egg. Nothing inside. Just hatched a grub. Let's grab the pod organ. The corpse has 12 nanites. And here is the first environmental regulator. So let's slot in a vial of toxin A. Good. You'll notice that the biomatter on the walls and in the elevator shaft has been impacted by the introduction of the biotoxin. Now do the same with the other three regulators. Huzzah! She gave us 13 modules, brings me up to 23. That email was Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding making progress. Cool. Let's keep rolling. Xerxes. Let's destroy that camera. Sector B. This is Xerxes. Please report any electrical anomalies to your direct superior. Remember, a smooth operation is everybody's responsibility. Alright, there's a spare wrench on the ground. Got some nanites and a maintenance tool, but I need to make a junk deposit run. So let's do that right quick. These corridors all kind of fold back on themselves. Oh yes, come here. Oh. She tagged me with a laser. I'd really rather not endure that. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. You're mine now. Much better. That's it just a pipe pipe. Right? Silence the discord. Very good. Act back back to the elevator. Five nanites. And let's drop all the junk. Let's keep going. Let me look at the map right quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see all the different ways I can go, I think. I'll lead you. <laughs> Damn you! Is there your? <laughs> it's a very quick draw compared to a lot of his buddies. Much better. 
hybrid organ, and the shotgun. <clears throat> There's Xerxes. We don't have Sector B access. Let's pick up that maintenance tool and let's keep going. Up here. Well, there's a camera. I'll have to wait till it settles down and then I'll destroy it. Trash can, bottle of juice, can of soda, a Psy Boost implant, might be even better than a Swift Boost, and 10 nanites. Anyway, I don't have Sector A access. Search the desk, it's empty. On the desk we have a mug and a magazine. I almost forgot, we need to query the Cyboost. Krygon Manufactory's Cyboost trademark implant increases the user's Psy by one, burning up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. The implant monitors the user's neurotransmitter levels and acts on nervous controllers to keep the levels optimal for peak neural function. Let's make sure that magazine isn't new. It's not. All right. And now, as we head down here, we find ourselves back at the main elevator. The only way to go is through some windows. So I guess that's what we're going to do. I'd actually rather keep the swift boost than the psi boost. Recharge it, and we'll hop through a window I saw. Damn it. I'm worried about that. Broken shotguns with one shell inside. Thank you, thank you, oh so much. Sarcasm aside, let's hop back up to where we found the first regulator. Let's hop through this window. There's a swift boost implant and 20 nanites. I guess we should just drop down through the floor. So. Babies must sleep. Babies must rest. Wise is the one who does not waken them. Leave this place now, or we will wound you as you have us. Alright. Well, let's check out these eggs. That one's empty. Hatches a grub. Uh, before we mess with the egg. Probably deal with her. She's got nothing. We bagged the grub and we got its pod organ. Search that egg, we find nothing. It releases toxins. If I can't. 
If I can't open it without getting poisoned, I may just have to cryo the egg. Yeah. Just gonna have to cryo this bad boy. Well, bam. Alright, let's search this one. Nothing inside. Catches a grub. Nice and easy. Pod organ and all. Corpse has nothing. There's a pistol there in superb condition, but I don't have room for it right now. This egg has nothing inside. All it has is a grub. I can pick up that pod organ. This one has nothing inside. It hatches a grub, and I can pick up that pod organ too. Alright, let's see about getting out of this little loop. Where am I? Oh, well, we got monkeys. Everywhere. Let me just look at the map. That should, that'll probably help. Hmm. Okay. Don't do it to me. Please don't. I won't tell. I won't. Choose somebody else. I don't want to change, please. Don't cry. Don't cry. Soon you'll be the mother of them all. Alright, we got a med hypo, a med hypo, an antitoxin hypo, and an incomplete surgical unit. Might as well turn one on so we have one on this deck. Can't pick up the laser rapier or the ammo. The desk is empty. Got another monkey. Let's wrench it dead with extreme prejudice. Got 13 nanites here. In the locker, we got two med hypos. Got nothing in that second one. Managed to destroy the camera in time. In the water, there's an antitoxin hypo. Not seeing anything else, that's fine. The crates are empty. Here's the chemical storeroom. She's got an audio log. Bloom, July 2nd, 2114. Regarding, worried. I found these schematics on Dr. Miller's desk. They're plans for the kind of cyber modification that's been illegal for 40 years. That's not like him. I was going to talk to him about it and then I noticed the DNA sequence he spec for the prototype. It's mine. Alright, let's search the desk. There's vanadium, antimony, and another vial of toxin A. Well, I don't have room for the toxin right now. And here is the chemical manifest. So let's check it out. Chemical manifest, hydro, laboratory stockroom, inventory, hydroponics, laboratory 008. Antimony 2, Arsenic 1, Barium 1, Cesium 2, Copper 1, Fermium 1, 
Gallium-2, Hassium-1, Iridium-2, Radium-1, Technetium-2, Tellurium-2, Vanadium-1. This inventory list is required by UNN Safety Code number 134882 to be kept on hand in all areas of hazardous chemical storage. Storage is defined by UNN Safety Code number 195331 to consist of all areas in which hazardous chemicals, see Safety Code number 093355, are stored in quantities greater than 50 grams per 10 square feet for durations of greater than 24 hours. Well, there's no sodium, so I still can't finish researching this needle. Inside the waste barrel, we have three cyber modules, bring me up to 26. On the shelf is a med kit. Now I'm really motivated to find my way back to the elevator because I can afford an upgrade, in addition to needing to offload my inventory. So, only one way forward, through this little forest of monkeys. Let's deal with them. We got a lot of monkeys. Getting out here didn't really do me any good. Well, I can get out into the water. I'm not sure that does me any good either. Well, it did give me a sort of back door to the monkeys. I guess that was pretty cool. One. Got another. Let's bum rush that last one. Come on. There we go. Down here we've got three more cyber modules and an audio log. Lesser, July 5th, 2114. Regarding, where are they? Mark, what's going on? I thought it was weird when you asked me to send up 16 of my female staffers, but what have you done with them? I'm short-handed up here. Also, have you heard from Watt, Sanger, or Polito? It's like everyone's gone on vacation and didn't bother to tell me. Alright, let's search this room. Got a broken shotgun. Corpse with a hydroponic Sector B access card and a box of six rifled slugs. That excess card's important. That's what's gonna let us out. There we go. Good. All right. Let's get back to the main elevator for now. Cognizant of the habit things have of respawning. All right, let's drop all the junk. Cyan Tech. Let's just bounce down to level two and use that stat machine. That's easy. raise my endurance first. That's the last point I'm going to put in there. Next, I want to spend 26 modules raising Psy. So we'll do that next. For now, back up to deck three. Let's roll back into Sector B. Let's go 
all the way back first to where we first ran out of carry space. Let's pull her over here because they're much easier to melee. Pipe hybrid. Come on. He's got nothing. I hear another midwife, but I can't worry too much about her now. Alright, let's head back here and grab the pistol. That was the first laser pistol. That's the first thing I skipped. Then, okay. We need to have her close to melee range too. Face the wrench of justice! <laughs> Alright, let's head down here. In this room, we skipped 24 standard bullets and a laser rapier. Here, I don't know that I actually skipped any goodies. I don't think I did. No, it was just a toxin hypo in the water. But inside the chemical storeroom, I had skipped another vial of toxin A, which I actually need. Okay. Now we'll head back through Monkey Land. We'll try to ignore her. He's got nothing. We'll pick up his shotgun. We'll wrench these two monkeys. You have been wrenched! Wrench! Biatch! I'm getting a little too excited about my wrench. Alright. Well, we got the jammed shotgun. That's it for that. And I'm out of space again. Well, just about. I can pick up these frag grenades. And it's time for another offload. So let's do that right quick. I'm finding this deck much less annoying than I found engineering. The midwives are actually a lot easier for me to deal with than shotgun hybrids, I think. Alright, once more unto the breach, as they say. We're very nearly finished now, of course. I don't f think I had skipped anything else before this, so... This is our first functional grenade launcher. The one we found on Medsai was broken. Let's head through here. Liquor, anti-personnel shotgun rounds, the usual broken shotgun, and a rifled slug. Pipe hybrid. Rather not get smacked. Come on, asshole. Uh, Alright, and what you'll notice is that we're now through those windows we could see 
from the starting sector. So, three cyber modules on top of a crate in there. That's always awesome. Let's see what else we can find in here. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to drop down. Here's the ladder. <clears throat> that egg has nothing in it. You're mine now. Hatched a grub, Yahoo. I'll We nailed the midwife. Let's try and pick up that grub pod organ. Before we have to make another, yes, another junk offloading run. We seek. We seek. Seek away, asshole. Time to hit the recharger as well. Let's do that right quick. Well, come in this way. Drop down and. Oh! Glad to see it was just a pipe hybrid. He's got nothing. That egg has nothing inside. Got a grub pod organ. Oh, we've got a shotgun hybrid just around the corner. That's a toxic egg, but I, th I think I can trigger it from around the corner, which is good. It's got nothing inside. I can destroy it. That was so close to being awesome. We seek. All right, well, we've got another toxic we egg. Seek. It's got nothing we inside. Seek. We'll let that toxic egg open. It's got nothing inside. And your suffering will end. Hurry! Run! They're all toxics, it seems like. Submit to the biomass. And your suffering will end. I got no choice but to cry for this one. Need to let him see me so he comes over here. He's not really cooperating. You do not hide. Here we have something important: 18 nanites, a hydroponic sector A access card, and an ice pick. When it's safer, I'll query the ice pick and explain about it to you. Yeah. Damn it! We see. Alright, the usual broken shotgun, but let's query the ice pick. 
The Ice Pick's limited power supply and custom programmed nanites allow for one successful hack regardless of the you skill of the user. Banned as illegal in most countries and aboard UNN ships, the Ice Pick is nevertheless a great help for any hacker who can afford the prices the black market charges for the device. A persistent rumor in the hacker underground is that Cantor, the Ice Pick's inventor, has offered his own ice-breaking algorithms as a reward to anyone who can demonstrate to him a system the Ice Pick can't break. So the Ice Pick is a free hack, which comes in very handy if you're a character with zero hack skill like me. So this was another toxin egg. We'll just cryo it down. Oh, I don't want to waste Psy on a pipe hybrid. So if he's coming over here, we'll get the wrench back out. Wrench him down, take his soda. Of course, I need to check that egg before I see it. Nothing inside. That's all good. Let's check this one in the corner. There's nothing. And it's another toxin egg. We'll cryo it down as well. Now, over here, we've got a corpse. Version 1 modification software. And nine nanites. Pipe hybrid's got nothing. This body, 36 nanites, a speed booster hypo, six standard bullets, and an audio log. Miller, July 1st, 2114. Regarding Nurse Bloom. I've chosen Nurse Bloom as the new mother to our children. She is sweet and kind, healthy and a perfect match. She has a child of her own back on Earth. She knows what it is to care for the young. Ave Maria. If she only knew what the future held, she shared the joys of the many. All right. Well, let's put in the second vial of Toxin A. Thirteen cyber modules for that. Brings me up to nineteen. Run. You're got a shotgun hybrid now, hiding around the corner. I'll have to destroy him, of course. We see you're Good grief. We do not Alright, let's see what's back here. More eggs. Nothing inside that one. It's another toxin egg, so let's cryo it down. How about this one? Empty. Toxins. Let's cryo it down. And what about this one? Empty. Toxins. Time again to cryo it down. Need a Psy Hypo. Back here, we find three cyber modules, brings my total up to 22, 38 nanites, and six armor piercing bullets. He's right by the ladder. That sucks. I'm gonna try to not engage. Good. So with that done... We follow. Well, we got another one. Unfortunately. sorry. Got no room for his shotgun. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna run back to the main elevator right quick. 
do a junk drop. And the other thing we've got now is access to Sector A. Let's head through here. Camera. Destroyed it in time. That was a little worrisome. Let's check out this replicator. I would need to repair it. Repair skill 3 required. That's not happening. And we're at a bulkhead. Access to the other part of hydroponics. So, I'll hit the switch. And as I usually do, I will call it a video now that we've crossed into a new map. So, this has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We've discovered how to unblock the elevator shaft, and we've successfully used Toxin A twice. We need to put it into the other two environmental regulators, and then we should finally be able to take the elevator to Deck 4 to meet with Dr. Polito. So, I'll see you next time when we do exactly that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.